Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's explore Snobville now, aka Poshley Heights. <laughs> the business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I'm sightseeing. Oh, on the expense account, of course, as if you have to ask by now. Yeah, I didn't think it would be <laughs> any other way. Anyway, there's a star piece under that panel, obviously. We'd dearly like to find a suitable present for little Bob. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps? No, I'm afraid not. Hey, mister! I gotta get a train set! The coolest one ever invented! I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. Yeah, it sounds a little dangerous for you to have one at this moment in time. There's a star piece behind that chair, and in this pool... Yep! The fish exist even in pools like that! <laughs> anyway, let's go inside the house. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. Look at that little crevice. Oh yeah. That room tries to trick you by making it look like that there's nothing in there, but there's actually a hidden badge through that very, very tiny edge in the wall there. See that? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, this place is pretty small overall, so there's not all that much to explore. Um, I think there's a star piece somewhere... <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay, there we go, yep. Yoo-hoo! I knew there was one somewhere around there. You just have to go through this hole in the hedges. See that crack there, sort of? It's kind of a crack, but I, I, I can't even say it's a crack. Because hedges don't really crack. <laughs> anyway, inside this building, we have... Hey, look who it is. Welcome, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? In Deedly Do, it was. Oh, piano has nothing... Nothing for me whatsoever. Does a ceiling fan have anything for me? No. Oh, I'm thinking too much like Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Well, sorry for shaking up your house, but uh, I've got to go. <laughs> yeah, there's not really all that much to do in that house other than, you know, that, other than figure out that it is um, her house, per se. Um, a secondary area here. There's something behind uh, here. Oh, it's an in coupon. Uh-oh. Uh Ruh-oh, Raggy. <laughs> uh -oh. HP drain, I guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I really should um, expand my uh, um, item capacity soon. Welcome to you! Would you like to buy some high quality fresh pasta as a partially souvenir? One package costs 50 coins. How about it? This is another one of those tasty ingredients, or I mean zesty ingredients. So if you want it for something, buy it. But otherwise, no, don't, because it only recovers 5 HP, I mean, ex excuse me, 5 flower points and 10 uh, heart points, so no thank you. Anyway, Penguin, I'd heard Poshley Heights was a quiet place. There are lots of tourists, eh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so, maybe so. Can you go back here? Well, you can, sort of, but there's a star piece right there but I was I was thinking more like behind the house back there back there but no just the star pieces over there uh, sneaking through here not really much for you to see <laughs> in here is penguin family sort of so lovely I'll say yeah uh, sure take your time to soak in all of its majesty I built it with even the smallest details in mind making every nook special not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside too. Got that star piece of yours. <laughs> I guess it's sort of fun to live here, but I can't eat snow cones, or make little snowmen, or go ice skating, or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you got until it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Oh. Uh, anyway, I think there's more to talk to here. That, yeah, the Traveling Sisters 3 is here. Yeah, the Wandering Sisters, the Traveling Sisters 3 are staying in that luxury hotel. Bushley Heights sure is a place for the rich and famous, huh? 
thinking of going to see the Plushly Sanctum next. Hurt. By the way, in this fountain is yet another fish. Every body of water has fish like that. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's a total infestation, I tell you. Everywhere. Anyway, let's go in here. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. I think Goombella will be best out for this. Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. This last is the reception desk is très magnifique. I shall stay here every night until that hot is mine. I shall not tire, hmm? Nope, I thought Goombella might have something to say about this, but I guess not. Um, oh, maybe I should have um, stayed a night rather than going in the elevator first because to leave, you actually gotta use the elevator to get out of here. And now you would see it the other way, yeah, either way. <laughs> is this not a fancy little hotel? It is. Indeed, it do. It is. And elevator music! Yeah, that elevator is just far, far longer than I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Uh, welcome, sir. This is the Royal Poshly Park Tower. We can promise a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. A room for the night costs a mere 30 coins. Even he can't say that with a straight face. Dot, 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 after 30 coins. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, but I... Sorry, but... Yeah, sure. Phantos on the top floor for you. I trust it'll be to your liking. Please make yourself at home. And, wait, are they gonna really make me go th Yeah. Forgot about that. See, this is why I should have just <laughs> paid for the hotel uh, first. Anyway, I'm healing up because uh, of something coming up fairly shortly. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird. There's, the hotel only has this one stop, no matter what. And it's it's like you always have to pay for the suite. So it's like, this, this is the only room in the entire hotel and, yeah, <laughs> isn't that odd? But uh, I suppose if you um, if you take the elevator up here before paying for it, you know, you, you'll be able to actually ex explore the room more freely, per se. And, ah, uh, go faster! <laughs> Even though there's not really much to explore, but yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Did you sleep well, sir? We have set out the gourmet meal prepared by the famous chef Zesty on the table. And we were, and were you satisfied with our service, sir? Most excellent. We look forward to your next visit. So the thingy on the table here is... Uh, should I get this? Like... Uh, uh. Oh wait, that's right, I used an item and yeah. Omelette meal, food made by Zesty, replenishes 5 HP and 5 flower points. Okay, now, um, just want to check some stuff and stuff. I don't, I think I already checked there before, I actually just want to be sure. Okay, in the next room, uh, well, not, not room, <laughs> in the next section of town, there's going to be a shine sprite over to the, uh, right side, but first, it may not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out, like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better. You betcha. Can you join me, guy? Hmm, maybe not. That seems kind of unsanitary. <laughs> People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose! This is a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. And even the town changes. And you never see another day just like today. So treat every day like... I mean, each day just like it is. Unique. And if you go over... Oh, they're not... Oh, they're not here just yet. Hey there. Poshly Heights is sure nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I can really dig it here. Cold places make me steeze. <laughs> Poshly Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. I could just stare at it all day. You betcha. Architecture is an art in itself. You'll see. Oh, you can't get the shine sprite because there's no block there, but don't worry. Now that you have the spring jump, you can get that shine sprite like nobody's business. Alright. Oh no. Oh no, it's locked. Gone traveling. Sanctum manager. No way! This is super weak! What'll we do? 
Ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Yep, it's his place! The world's worst detective! Pennington! What? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? I totally thought you were a detective! Well, yes. That is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. You need to practice a lot more at it. <laughs> but enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? Yes, we shall! Hey. But enough chatter. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Thought there was, he might have some different bit of dialogue there, but I guess not. Ooh. Ah! No! <laughs> You're one step too late. We have the crystal star. Hey, don't leave without me. Just a second at Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Uh -huh. Hmm, yes. Quite rudimentary. So, you were looking for the crystal star in the sanctum. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. What? The stone that was our rude that our rude friend stole was fortunately a red herring. Our fake. The, red, the real one is hidden somewhere in the sanctum to prevent such a theft. Sweet! However, as to the location of the real crystal star... Well, as sanctum manager, I am of course prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that, you can be most certain. Yes, indeed. I don't believe you. I don't think you know that. <laughs> Besides, I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi? It's Mario! Put to use all the razor-sharp sleuthing skills I have taught you. Make me proud. All right. Um, I am, of course, a... It's not as I've merely forgotten or anything. Oh, no. Don't make me chortle. <laughs> the secret is quite safe, but you must find it on your own, I'm afraid. So, looks like a pretty empty place overall. Here's the... Well, kind of painting that they might have been talking about somewhere here. This huge painting looks like it could swallow you whole. The crystal star is no longer on the pedestal, but that wasn't even a crystal star, apparently. <laughs> I'm not sure I necessarily believe him. Anyway, you'll see it. There's stars on the ground here. Poles above you. Yep. You can use this to get around. Uh, I'm just going to take a look-see and explore stuff and stuff like you can tell where you can jump up to via those stars, so it's it's relatively easy to like figure that out. And oddly, see this? You can jump at the pole like that, but you cannot like jump and grab onto the pole without doing a spring jump for whatever reason. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> it's just how things work, I suppose. So anyway, this uh, area is sort of kind of like a maze of sorts in that. You have a bunch of ledges, you've got stuff to jump around on, you know, you gotta find your way um, through this place overall. There's an airplane panel there. And it's, it, since you've got a big view of this room, you can quite easily see any secrets along the way or stuff, you know, that you um, might otherwise miss because the camera would not be in your favor or something like that. Anyway, use this panel to get to the other side now, and bloop! There we go. Now what you want to do is go up to this one, and go here, and now hit the switch! A pipe appears! And also notice that there is a uh, pipe in that painting as well. Interesting, is it not? Mm. Anyway, I'm going to take a look-see down this side. I don't think there's anything in this particular version of the room. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, by the way, what do you have to say here? This is Poshy Sanctum. It sure is spacious inside. Echo, echo, echo. Does Pennington really live here alone? I bet it's hard to clean this place. Hey, and those star marks on the floor must mean something, right? Yeah, they indicate where you can 
jump on the poles. We already went through that, Goombella. We are not paying attention to my sleuthing skills. Anyway, we're inside the painting. It's, it's another version of the room with dark booze. Come on. There you go. <laughs> dark boo. They look pretty dang wicked. But they're not all that threatening overall. Dark boo. That's a dark boo. Purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Max HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. Yep. Very, very basic enemy overall. Oop. Oh, this is second stylish timing, but whatever. Yeah! Yeah, they're, they're very, very predictable overall if you've got the uh, feel of boos down, I guess you could say. Uh, oh, I never really got to show off the tornado drum properly, did I? Maybe I'll battle another boo to uh, uh, do so. Woo! Yeah! Alright, another boo! Woo! Woo! It's kind of a delay in how the curtain came down there. <laughs> but whatever. Ooh, Thunder Rage. Which mind you, I still have to show off uh, the, the thief move of Miss Mouse. But anyway, uh, here we go. Now, Tornado Jump. I'll do it on the center one. Now, wait, XBB, it attacks all mid-air enemies, like so. Once you have, like, like you do one attack and it attacks the other ones, basically. Alrighty, uh, let's, I wonder if, I wonder if I'm going to be able to grab that item with Miss Mouse by the time it's going to be used. Probably not, in all honesty. Uh, oh, no, I guess I will be able to. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I kind of forgot how this attack works. It's been, been a while since I've used this, in all honesty. Ah, uh, steal an enemy's badge or item. So, oh, right, it's well, the one in front. I forgot about that again. And even, you, like, even if it's invisible, it still blocks you from being able to do it properly. <laughs> so, hmm. Will I be able to, like, wait it out? Like, say if I were to just do stuff like appeal and defend and stuff like that for the turns and maybe like maybe it won't use it obviously I'm not feeling very threatened by them up oh, got me with it oh well <laughs> I'll be able to show Miss Mouse's move properly one of these days I promise you <laughs> anyway let's do one more uh, tornado jump here Boop. XXB Wah. Pretty powerful move overall. Woo! Kind of tempted to get some more points just for a level up here. <laughs> I mean, I'm at 94 um, star points here. It just kind of feels like a shame to leave it as is. So, let's see if someone else has an item too. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, now I'll actually be able to do something with this Kiss Thief move. Alright, press A to stop the gauge after it passes OK. No. Accidentally hit the button. <sighs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> it's like, I know what I'm supposed to do and I hit it by mistake and I'll forget it. Normal jump, normal jump. Hopefully it won't turn invisible and or use that item. And it's going to use that item, isn't it? Yeah, it increases the attack power. Now well, you're going down. <laughs> Woo. I'm one point short. One point short. Err. Err. One more time. <laughs> Someone's got to have something that I'll actually finally be able to rob. Right? Right? <laughs> Eventually, I hope. Yeah, well. Let's see here. That's a lot of HP to take care of in one turn, in all honesty. Uh, Earth Tremor. By the way, in case you don't realize, uh, Dark Boos are the only 
enemy in this place, so you don't have to worry about tattling anything else in this place. The whole uh, chapter, as a matter of fact, was very, very uh, slim on enemies and battles overall. But that's, you know, that sort of the theme of the whole chapter because of the way it just set up. Just more about the dialogue and the puzzles and stuff like that than it was the um, uh, battles. So it makes sense to uh, not have that many things to tattle, of course. Gonna make that invisible, isn't it? Yeah. That is so annoying. <laughs> Aww, man. Really? Hmm. I don't think there's any way to hit them while they're invisible. Like, if I... I think that'll go right through them. Hmm. How would I do something like this? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, wait. I thought... I was thinking of something that... When they touch you, it hurts them, but if that's a volt shroom, and that won't work anyway. So, alright. Appeal. <laughs> I'm putting way too much thought in this, I know, I know. <laughs> Appeal. Mm. Just want that level up, dang it. Did they... Did it... Did one just sim seriously just burn its turn to... Like... Oh, forget it. <laughs> To, um, just move its positioning is what I'm saying here. Apparently so. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Yeah. I just felt like such a shame to leave that um, without upgrading because I was so close to it. Uh, mm, flower points this time. Woo! Stuff is getting more and more expensive to you, so there we go. I'm gonna explore this place before I grab the star on that pedestal. Ah! Okay, I'm running this time. <laughs> There's not all that much to explore here. It's just a thing of. It's it's sort of kind of like a mirror of the other version of this place uh, of the Poshly Sanctum. Ah! That was close. <laughs> all right, so let's keep going up. Keep going up. There's a shine sprite in this place, by the way, which is why I want to. Uh, explore it. In fact, I think uh, both the Shine Sprite and a rather funny badge is on the other side. If if I recall correctly. Hmm, I'm just going to be able to see further from this angle. Yeah, it's on the other side. Okay. There's a Shine Sprite. And there's a badge uh, coming up over on the uh, other platform. So here is another star. These stars are so handy because otherwise you'd have to play around and try and figure out where these paper poles are, and that's really difficult with the game's perspective. L LM Loam changes Mario's clothes into Luigi Luigi's clothes. Yeah, seriously. They have badges in this game that you can use to change your appearance. Look at that! Now I actually look like Luigi! Now I can understand if uh um uh, uh, Pennington confused me, but before? No. Anyway. Yep, the star is right there. Up for grabs. Woo! And I can do Showstopper. And with that, it ends off the chapter. Woo! Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshly Heights Sanctum. Now, only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be, and where is Peach being held? Hoping the crystal, this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save away, baby. Woo! Yep, still not over, uh... Like, it's not going to go over to the uh, Peach and Bowser segment just yet until uh, you finish off this chapter's stuff and stuff. There's a little bit more of stuff to see here. So anyway, going down. So did you really, really know where that crystal star was? Hmm, so that is where it was. I thought so! Oh, er nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. 
Congratulations, Luigi. You have fallen the real crystal star. Then again, it still says M on my hat, so... <laughs> so please feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I am sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi. But do not give up. I do believe I will miss you, Luigi, when you are gone. I mean, I mean, I mean do, I, ah, I do believe I will miss you when you are gone, Luigi. I read one line ahead. <laughs> Traveling with you has been rather hectic, but must have been rather fun as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, no new dialogue. Let's get out of here. Um, I think there's someone outside waiting for us now. That's like a, a little cameo. Oh, nope, nope. End of chapter. 